guys welcome back uh, we are just continuing here the 401 developer series certification questions i mean dumps so uh, this is a continuation video of the previous one which i have uploaded so let's continue so the sharing rules are used to further restrict access defined in the organization by default and the answer is false because sharing rules are used to extend the sharing access to the users in the public group or roles so it cannot be stricter than your organization wide default settings but it's mainly used for the extending the access you cannot reference cross object formulas in the role of summary field the answer is <coughs> true because not only cross object formula but also the long text area multi select pick list description field system fields and fields like last activity and the lookup fields can also be cannot can also not be used in the role of summary building your user interface that's a category how can you control the different settings of the page layout so you can use the enhanced page layout editor which has all the functionality of the original page layout editor and has more features and easy to use if you look up field is optional what actions can you define for that field if someone deletes a reference lookup record so basically it's like for the all lookup field options so it's misspelled i believe so the answer is um, a c d i mean clear the value of this field and don't allow the deletion of the lookup record that's part of lookup relationship and D, delete this record also so delete all records which contain this reference it's not a you know a right option uh, so that's why acd is the right answer this three declare to application building blocks of the data model so three application building blocks which is declarative that is objects fields and relationships with these you can build an application with these three objects so declaratively that's more important so about this question identify all the statements that are true so the true statements are a b d if you remove access to an app from the profiles users in that profile will still be able to see the tabs in that application which is true if you hide a tab from the profile the users in that profile will not be able to see that record for that object that's also true if you have two record type for an object you need to have two page layout for that object that's not true because you can accommodate two page layout two record types in a single page layout if user does not have access to specific record type they will still be able to see and they will be available for that users to create records that's true so reports can only display one child object at a time yes that's true because it can only display one child but it can be you know multiple you know, um, master detail relationship or a parent or other related object but it can display only one child standard profiles can be customized to fit your organization requirement false because standard profile you can as in a standard profile but you cannot view or edit them for that purpose they have you know uh, given the salesforce has given the option to create the custom profiles to fit your organization so describe the vlookup function formula so it's nothing but a function which returns a value looking up to the related value in the custom field um, it checks a bit basically it's a key value pair so look up against the key and return the value just like that lookup function in the microsoft microsoft excel <clears throat> so the example is you know checking the state and the zip code and read against the table and uh, you can match the zip code and get the state data and the process and take applications are the best suited for the force.com which is true because uh, in force.com you can do the data and the process and take application because it's you know very uh, you know you can do basically all the all types of uh, process and any uh, complex logic you can build in the force.com application if a developer wants to set up access in such a way that managers always see the records owned by others owned by their subordinates which feature should the developer use <clears throat> i think it's a role hierarchy yes so depending on your sharing settings sharing settings role can control the level of visibility that users have into your salesforce data 
each role in the hierarchy just so the options are uh, organized by default role hierarchy manual sharing and profiles the answer is role hierarchy uh, depending on your sharing settings roles can control the level of visibility that users have into your salesforce data and uh, each role represents the level of data access they, that the user or the group needs what does the field history tracking do field history tracking is nothing but you know tracks the modification to any standard of the custom field whose history is said to be tracked in the objects history related list you can see you know whenever you scroll to the scroll down to the standard object or any other object you can see the related list and even the object history can be seen in those one of the related list i did for the correct statement about the dependent pick list so answer is a c e b and d are not answered because maximum number of values allowed in the controlling field is 400 no it's actually 300 so and d custom multi select pick list can be set at the controlling field for a dependent field which is false so a c e are the right answer list the type of the resources available for use in the flow so these are the type of the resources which are available in the flow variable constant formula text template choice and the dynamic choice who gets a full access to the record so the record owner uh, user in the role higher than the owner in the role hierarchy role hierarchy we just discussed i think so if somebody higher than you in that role hierarchy he gets he also gets a full access and uses with the modify all records permission what is declarative interface so uh, it's nothing but a point and click tool basically you don't have to do any coding all your uh, requirement or requirement or any uh, you know functionality can be achieved in a point and click tool it makes configuring and customizing building applications quick and easy the only way to test whether a time dependent workflow rule is executing as expected is to wait it is false of course because salesforce has provided <coughs> a tool to monitor the time based workflow queue so which contains all the instances and it also has all the other details of the time dependent workflow building your data model that's a category what are the two types of the objects standard objects and custom objects simple one while filling out position the hiring manager wants to view job responsibilities and job description at the top of the page and the recruiter wants to view the name of the hiring manager and status on top which tool would you use to meet this requirement um, this is obviously page layout because uh, you can create one for the hiring manager and the recruiter and place the required field like job responsibility and job description on top of the page and hiring manager and the stator for the recruiter which of the following are the three layers of an application so this should be user interface business logic and data model BD, yeah, user interface, business logic, and data model three layers of application. In fact, any application you cannot relate records from the same object via relationship, it is false. You can relate with the self relationship using a lookup field. When are the validations applied? Um, it's a simple one when a user saves a record. If a record no longer meets the time-based workflow rule criteria, the action executes as originally triggered. Yes, the action executes as it was originally triggered and it does not change you know, the actions if the record no longer meet the criteria. What level of access can be granted through the manual sharing? Full access, read, write and read-only access can be granted through the manual sharing master detail relationship can contain standard object on the detail side true it can contain a standard object both you know master and detail can be standard object otherwise it should be master i mean standard and the custom object on the master detail relationship 
thank you for watching this long please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification i'll be soon uploading more videos on other subjects thank you bye bye